Here are a few easy ways to use WIPs and VPS to set your tool offsets more quickly. You might already know these shortcuts, but if not, it should save you a little time. If you just need to set a single tool offset, and you're not probing something like a face mill with multiple inserts, then try this out. This works great for drills, taps, end mills up to about one inch, and most other tools where you're just checking length and there is a center point or web that will accurately contact the probe face. Let's get started by pressing edit and then arrow down to the VPS tab. Then go to probing and tool offsets and select auto length non-rotating. Here, we'll enter the tool number we want to probe, and it doesn't need to be the tool that's in the spindle. I'll enter tool number three for the drill I want to check. Then I'll set the tool type. Now, if you want, you can measure and enter the tool's approximate length and diameter, but you don't really need to. Eyeballing it from where I'm standing works fine. I'll enter three inches, and I'll leave the diameter at zero. This saves me a few seconds making a measurement or trying to remember where I last set down my scale or tape measure. With the values set, I'll press cycle start to begin the probing cycle. The machine automatically changes to the tool we selected. It then moves up to Z0 and then descends to touch off the probe. When it's done with the final slow touch off, the offset is updated. That's pretty easy. Now what if I need to set offsets for a group of tools? Let's say I just loaded the tools for a new job into the machine and tools two through six have no offsets yet. For this situation, I'm gonna use the auto length sequential template. All the tools I'm checking here have a center point or web where they'll touch off against the tool probe. If I have a large diameter tool with multiple inserts, like this shell mill here, then I'll need to probe that tool individually using the auto length rotating template. Now all I do is enter the tool number I want to start with, which is tool two, and the tool number I want to end with, tool six. Then I hit cycle start, and away we go. The machine changes to tool 2 to start and begins the same type of probing check we just saw earlier, except now it will check all five tools automatically one after the other. What's great is, once I press cycle start, the machine will do its thing and I can leave it alone for a few minutes and take care of other stuff like moving material into place or finishing up some paperwork. Now the last thing we'll look at is a variation of the multi-tool check we just finished. This time, let's select auto length random. Maybe for a new part, I'm only making changes to tool numbers two, three, and five out of the six tools I'm using. I've selected auto length random. Then I'll specify the number of tools I want to check. In this case, I'll enter three. Now we see that we have three new spots. For each one of these, I'll select one of the tools I want to check. Tool numbers two, three, and five, of course. Then I'll hit cycle start, just like before. So there you have it. Three simple ways to make life a little easier when you're setting tool offsets. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.